What up, haters? It's going out to my haters, and especially the police. Today is supposed to be January the 9th. Sinful Saturday. It's no longer sexy Saturday. It's sinful Saturday. Sinister Saturday. 2021. Now, let's talk about the police and shit. You know, because I'm about sick of these bitches, for real. Real fucking talk. I don't even give a fuck no more. You know, fuck you bitches, for real. Real talk, I couldn't wait to get to this part of my life and shit, for real. Now, got a lot of haters out here. You know, you got the movie, The Negotiator, then you got the movie, uh, uh, what you got, um, you know, you got American Gangster, you got, uh, got, got The Godfather, you got Scarface. I like Scarface. Scarface, you know, he was like, you know, you die, motherfucker. You understand what I'm saying? Try to get a motherfucker to kill women and children and shit. You know, we dealing with a lot of wicked motherfuckers and shit. You know, I can't just go about my day without being a problem and shit. You know, because the police can't sleep at night knowing that their ass is a target now. You understand what I'm saying? Real fucking talk. Yeah, you got them right. I got my motherfucking got their funeral glasses on and shit because they thought I was stupid. I went to my own damn funeral in 2000 and stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Show sure did. My mother just played dead and shit. You understand what I'm saying? Because I had read my poem to her and said, you know, that she had to die for, you know, her child to be set free. Yeah, yeah. I read that to my so-called mother, Mary Lee Wright, and somebody else was in the room when I read it to her. Now, my so-called sister, Linda Nelson, said, you know, I thought you was trying to kill mama. No, see, my higher power do things in a general Captain Mac kind of way, you know. I kind of felt everything was being acted out or whatever and stuff. You understand what I'm saying? Like the Civil Rights Act, you understand what I'm saying? Real talk, you know. And I've been watching movies and people know that I can pretty much tell what the end going to be or whatever before it happens or whatever and stuff. And if I was going to kill my mother or plot to kill her, you understand what I'm saying? Real fucking talk. See, we talking trading places. I'll get back to that. But if I was plotting to kill my mother, I would have walked twice from the south side to the north side, Belmore Nursing Home, where she was at or whatever. But what I noticed everywhere I went, she was starting to follow me once the money started coming in and stuff. And when she ended all the way up north, I was wondering, what the hell going on? Because she could have stayed with my sister in my room when, you know, I painted it and everything and stuff. There was no reason why she... so. Basically, I went to my own funeral. They they never cared for me and stuff. Never, you know. So she must have been the police or, you know, connected or whatever. When they realized I could make it without them and stuff, you know, they decided to come up with a plan because I guess I was taking too long and gaining my own, you know, population. Pop, pop, yeah, population and uh, popularity. You understand what I'm saying? For real. There's a lot of Mary McAmyers. I'm going to need my Mary McAmyers to step up for real. Now, you know, you got the police out there. You know, and the negotiator, they was going for, uh, you know, the, the the pension fund and the Social Security and all that and stuff. Now, you know, I was wondering how I ended up with the general assistant check. You understand? You got to think about, you know, Harriet Tubman and stuff. You understand what I'm saying? And, you know, I only used a couple of them checks or whatever. And the last one I used, I took $40 and invested it. And never look back or whatever. So, you know, you know, I got more than fucking forty dollars right now and shit, you know, to invest if I wanted to start over, but I'm not gonna fucking start over. You know why? Cause I already won. I beat the streets, the game, and the fucking police and shit. For real. They trying to start over. I caught goddamn it a motherfucker lapping in the police station and shit, a white motherfucker and shit. You understand what I'm saying? Waiting to start the game over and shit. The police station wasn't even open and shit. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. So, you know. They love try to control motherfuckers and, you know, make motherfuckers scared of them, all that and stuff. And that's why, you know, May 31st, 2008, you know, they couldn't wait to get me off the streets. You know, they say I'm too cool. See, they want to be able to beat me down and, you know, get me out the game. And so they got these little trolls out here and in this building. And I try to, you know, do a video and goddamn it, you know what I'm saying? You know, just be cool about it. But the video I uploaded, you know what I'm saying, had half my head cut off or whatever and stuff they hate to look me in the face and shit real fucking talk because they know they have done a lot of damage to me ever since i was a baby a child and a teenager and the police one of them on 87 you know kicked me in the motherfucking goddamn side and shit for whatever reason i don't know other than the fact that i'm not a fucking 
dope dealer and shit. And I just listened to Jay Z, Reasonable Doubt, first goddamn so called CD or whatever and stuff. And he talked about bragging about, you know, how he sold drugs and all that, you know. And I knew when I went to Best Buy on 87th Street in my city, Chicago, you know, it was a, uh, it was a Best Buy, but now it's a, a beauty supply house or whatever and stuff. And I was looking at Jay Z CDs and Nas CDs, and here come the police creeping up behind me and shit, talking about uh, you know, I'm just, he, they didn't say nothing. I, I just looked at him like, you know, if Nas won, how the hell Jay Z become the the best? And if you look around, you know, on 87 in that little mall or strip or whatever, and said going towards um, Jewels away from the um, beauty supply store, the big one that says uh, Sisters Beauty supply or whatever you'll see jay-z's uh name in concrete and also walking down 63rd street coming from the uh from the west to the east you know what i'm saying before you get to king drive you'll see his name in concrete so you know these motherfuckers you know when he said the streets are talking he really know, you know he's, he know that but who helped him out though kanye west right see you know him and kanye and that's why kanye and them you know broke apart because that's what Jay-Z do he tried peep game and then break apart and stuff you know what I'm saying and they needed the game from me because they know I am streetwise to the day I die ain't no way I'm gonna be a fucking house nigga you know I I, I peep game so much and stuff I was peeping game a long time ago but I didn't know it was this motherfucking severe and to the point where them motherfuckers really wanted to kill me for real, for real. You understand what I'm saying? So they hoping I get fat, lay down, and die, whatever the fucking shit. You know, maybe he was one of the motherfuckers that, you know, molested me or whatever and stuff. Not molest, but, you know, raped me and shit for real. You know, because I don't know the other four. You understand what I'm saying? Because as a little girl, you just close your eyes and shit. But, bitch, my eyes is wide open and shit. Real motherfucking talk. I'm telling you. I, they accused me of, uh... You know, disarm the police officer on Devon and Clark in my city, Chicago, up north, just to get me off the streets, but I didn't. I wish I had her. If I was a killer, I would have never gave the gun that I had registered in my name that was probably somebody else's gun, because I wasn't going to get that one at Chuck Dalton's gun shop at 38. But the motherfucking white guy, which was probably a dirty police officer that was, you know, working the shop at uh, Gun at the gun shop or whatever and stuff he was like hey get this one and stuff you know and stuff he changed my mind that's why they say you shouldn't change your mind and stuff for real because i was gonna get one in the brand new box that's why it's not good to get used stuff because you don't know what it's attached to and stuff and they thought i'll come back and get a used car and you know no you know i could probably get me a trap or whatever and stuff but what for so I can go through hell? No, no, no. I'm going to wait till y'all motherfuckers try to come for my bag and shit this time like y'all did on Mother's Day and you stole everything to police, my social security check that wasn't even cashed and stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I don't believe my mother died and stuff because we didn't, we had a funeral and, she, you know, we didn't bury her till the next day and stuff. And not only that, it was my name on the headstone, Mary Lee Davis and not Mary Lee Wright. So, you know, little things were starting to, you know, you know, add up and stuff but i didn't quite you know figure out just trying to you know let shit just blow by just trying to give them enough rope to hang themselves pretty much and stuff right but at the same time be respectful and show them that you know look whatever you got going on ain't got nothing to do with me and why you trying to drag me in your mess when you know i'm trying to be you know civil about all this and stuff but if i can't you know then we just got to turn this shit up you know what i'm saying real fucking talk now hey i ain't got no gun but i got a higher power motherfucker real fucking talk so you know I knew someone right because at my um, meeting on Rogers Park, in, in Rogers Park, you know, in Greenleaf and Clark, this lady that looked like my mama walked in the meeting, you know, and I was like, man, you know, that never happened before, you know, and, you know, ch changing faces, you know, it's always a copycat and shit. Somebody look like you and you somebody, you just like Oprah, you know, she had somebody that looked like her. That came on her show and Oprah was like, you know, dad, you know, I hope that worked out for you or whatever and stuff. So I've seen a lot of, you know, copycats running around and stuff, you know. So when I went to prison for something I didn't do, like I said, disarming a police officer, it was this young girl named Money. And they said she had, you know, done a lot of pistol play. You know, her last name was Sims or something. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. So they always find somebody like myself who's not, you know, 
confrontational and doesn't have a you know record to that you know extent or whatever and stuff as far as guns and stuff they try to give me that when they say you know I disarmed a police officer something I did not do they try to make me seem as though you know I have a, a gun problem or whatever and stuff you know and it ain't got nothing to do with me so I think they try to stick money shit on me you understand what I'm saying you know they always trying to find somebody to stick some shit on this shit so I'm finna um flip this bible and see what the police got to you know say you know about the, what they got to say about the police and shit you know you know I don't know maybe it's the smooth voice or whatever but I heard a motherfucker in AA tell me a guy you understand what I'm saying you know you know, you start to act like a wallflower. See, they got tired of me, you know, showing up sober and stuff because they thought I was just, you know, after 1995 and all that real stuff that I said to Oprah or whatever, cassette tapes and that they heard for real, for real in the streets that, you know, I'll be fighting to get my money back. Look, y'all gonna give it back regardless and stuff. Just like I threw that little $10 back and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 1335 East 75th Street. Yep. Y'all gonna throw y'all gonna mouth shit back. I'm not even worried about it. I'll tell you, you come for me this time, you gotta blow my head off. See, down the street in '96, they should have pulled the trigger, but they didn't do it. You understand what I'm saying? Police put the gun to my head, then they start kicking me, then they start tasing me. You know, they just they, they get to the point where they're gonna do it, and I can't wait because I swear I'm dropping bomb on all them motherfuckers. I can't stand y'all motherfuckers for real. I'm not gonna be no house nigga, so you might as well tell your motherfucking people, goddamn it, to babysit me until my higher power called me home for real, or you better heal me, because if I die, we all die. I'm not fucking changing my mind. This is like the long, the long kiss goodnight with Gina Davis. You understand what I'm saying? I don't drink drugs, smoke, fornicate, and you bitches shit it on me and dirtied up my fucking goddamn name like Tupac said and stuff, for real. Police put a scar on my face right here and stuff. But God love me so much, I got a dimple, you can't even see it. That's how much them bitches is in trouble and shit. When my higher powers do stuff like that, that's a warning. Maybe God trying to tell y'all something. And this is it, bitch made motherfuckers. I'm better than you. That's 35 right there, bitch. All right, I walk it like I talk it, you faggot. Now, if you fuck with me this time, I promise you, if I do get the gun, I will blow your fucking head off and shit because I didn't have to give the gun to them in 1995. I could have came up shooting. This is motherfucker Second Chronicles chapter 35. It says, Joshua celebrates the Passover. God passed me over. You dumbass motherfuckers, which means if you think you're going to get me this time, you know what I'm saying? Going to reverse the curse. That's y'all motherfucking ass. Young and May, they don't like you either. I'm telling you. They do not like you. You know why? Because I went to get your um, CD, her story, on Belmont. I went three times to see if it was there. And it was only one. You understand what I'm saying? You know, if they liked you, somebody would have grabbed that motherfucker. Guess who grabbed it? Me. They don't like you and they don't like me. I went into some little store or whatever and stuff trying to get some orange juice. Motherfucker ran in there and told him who I was, some girl or whatever. It wasn't no motherfucking goddamn price on the orange juice or whatever. See, they set you up to find a way to kill you. So I said, um, how much is, you know, who work here or whatever and stuff? Because the guy behind the counter looked like he was busy. And then this one guy looking like a crackhead. So I'm like, I work here. I said, well, do you know how much this orange juice? No, I don't know. So, okay, that should have been it, right? And he just kept going and stuff. So I slammed the goddamn orange juice down. Hey, you. And then they talk about, you know, you know, hey, man. You know, I say, look, man, I ain't no man. You know, I'm a girl. I'm a lady. Oh, you should act like one of them. Don't tell me what to do, bitch. Because if all you want to do is rape me like doo-doo or whatever and stuff, let me tell you. The dance with the devil by immortal technique, that shit is real. How is it they can talk about what they do? And I'm a good person, for real, for real. And they get all the money and I don't get shit. So that's what this what this what we're gonna do. We all gonna die when I die. Now come for my bag, come for my money, cause you know I ain't broke. I don't drink drugs or smoke. You understand? And that ain't nothing. This this little money ain't shit. I put the money on the counter the last time on, on the table so y'all can get jealous and stack your motherfucking money and I can see who all the greedy motherfuckers is. I don't need a whole bunch of motherfucking money to live. I can fucking walk around all motherfucking day and be happy. I just need you to fucking leave me the fuck alone. So fuck the police. Fuck your goddamn mama if you don't like me. Fuck your daddy. Fuck your firstborn. And fuck your goddamn careers and shit, bitch. Because I'm taking all y'all to hell. With that, peace, bitch.